It was a ruling 10 years in the making, and a district judge denied bail to the man at the center of one of the last remaining criminal cases from the dot-com era. Earlier this week, we reported that the founder of Converse Technology was coming back to the U.S. to face the music after nearly a decade in Africa. Today, he was in court, and Scott Cohn was there. Kobe Alexander spent the last 10 years fighting extradition from Namibia on 35 felony counts. But now his attorneys say he is back to face the music. Alexander pleaded guilty to a single count of securities fraud in a plea agreement and said he deeply regrets his conduct. But then his attorneys asked that he be freed on $25 million bail pending his sentencing. But U.S. District Judge Nicholas Garifus would have none of it, noting that he was the judge who signed the original arrest warrant for Kobe Alexander back in 2006. Spare me, he said. I wasn't born yesterday. He denied bail, saying that Kobe Alexander's intelligence and his guile are clear indications that he can't be trusted. Benjamin Braffman is Alexander's attorney. Oh, we are uh, bitterly disappointed uh, with the court's decision, but he's the judge and I'm not. What does this pretend for sentencing? The judge was pretty harsh, at the, particularly at the end. I, I don't want to speculate. I think we're going to be submitting a uh, very strong sentencing recommendation in the form of a memo, which will hopefully convince the court that uh, a reasonably lenient sentence is appropriate. Kobe Alexander is set for sentencing December 16th. He faces up to 10 years in prison, and prosecutors have indicated they plan to seek substantial time. Scott Cohn, Nightly Business Report, Brooklyn, New York.